Santa Rosa, authorities have completed the grim task of formally identifying the 24 people who died as a result of the wildfires that tore through Sonoma County in October. On Thursday, the Sonoma County Sheriff's Office released the names of the final three known victims, all of whom had been identified in previous news reports, Karen Acock, Michelle Azarian, and Tamara Thomas. All 24 victims have now been identified, the Sheriff's Office said in a Facebook post. We send our sincerest condolences to their friends and families. The fires that broke out October 8 and October.9 in the North Bay have claimed 44 lives to date. Azarian, 41, was badly burned when the Tubbs fire trapped him outside his home on the outskirts of Santa Rosa, according to KQED. He died of his injuries Sunday at the UC Davis Medical Center in Sacramento. Reading this on your phone? Stay up to date with our free mobile app. Get it from the Apple App Store or the Google Play Store. A friend, Kikik Papanyan, told KQED that Azarian was a gifted engineer who moved to Santa Rosa two years ago to work for Keys IGHT Technologies, an electronic measurement company. He was extremely gifted when it came to problem solving, Papanyan said. The regular puzzles it would take me a day to solve, he could solve it in the blink of an eye. Acock's body was found at her home on Dogwood Drive in Santa Rosa's Coffee Park neighborhood, one of the hardest hit in the fires. The 56-year-old lived alone with at least seven cats. One of Acock's nieces, Jeanette Scroggins, previously told this news organization her aunt suffered from mania and schizophrenia. Acock, she said, was a homebody who loved her cats. She would get pretty freaked out about leaving the house, so she stayed inside. Thomas, a 47-year-old paraplegic, also perished when the fires consumed the Crestview Court residential care home in Coffee Park. Her brother is suing PG&E in what appears to be the first wrongful death claim connected to the fires, according to the Press Democrat. Like our Facebook page for more conversation and news coverage from San Jose, the Bay Area and beyond.